Hello and welcome to my review of Lion 4 Alternate Ending. Now first I gotta address something. There's a reason why I haven't been on YouTube that much. Well, there's a couple reasons really. And you might be noticing one already. And my hair's changing. Uh, yes, um, if you've seen the new outro, there's purple hair on that character. And the reason why is because I'm dyeing my hair purple. And I just really... I'm really late on these Steven Universe reviews, so I just really need to get these out here. So yeah, my hair is bleached right now. So, Lion 4, compared to the other episodes of the Steven Bomb... First of all, yes, there was a Steven Bomb. It was this week, but I missed it. Ugh, I... It's okay, don't worry about it. Compared to the other episodes of the bomb, it really doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, this episode, as far as I know, was actually supposed to be released um, after Room for Ruby. The week after Room for Ruby. That's when, when it was supposed to release when they were doing weekly episodes. Um, whatever. So I'm just gonna view this episode as, as its own episode, not to, to the other episode. I'm pretty sure you get what I'm saying. So, line four. Compared to the other three Lion um, episodes, I don't feel it's as strong or as as like revealing or anything. Cause all the other Lion episodes had like a big, big um, rose reveal or something like that. For example, like Lion One basically introduced Lion. Lion Two um, showed that um, Lion has stuff in his mane and Rose's sword. And then Lion Three was like that whole tape thing, like like a whole another dimension is in Lion and. And the, the really sad tape <laughs> gets my heart so much. Anyway, the episode begins with um, the tape from Lion 3. It, it was like, S Stephen, we both can't exist, stuff like that. But Steven's watching it, he's rewi rewind rewinding it, trying to decode some secret messages out of it. And he's like, alright, Lion, I this time I took the first letter of every single word in here. And he, he's just basically paranoid about finding answers about Rose. Then Lion coughs up, up a key. Steven and basically everyone both thought that it was belongs to the chest, like that chest in um in Lion in the Lion dimension. We're just we're just gonna call it that. I don't know the official name for it. He he literally goes and tries it, and that's not what it opens. No, they go on this perilous journey through the desert, which they could have just warped to. He opens a secret gate with the key. Okay, it's basically Rose's dump. I'm, he he's literally just as like disappointed as I am. Like it's just Rose's dump. He kicks something over. He finds another tape. Oh, this is not the tape. This is the tape. It says for Nora, and like he's thinking he has a sister, right? So then he asks Lion, "Take me, take me, who take me to Nora, please? I, I need to know what this is." And it turns out just Nora is just the name of if Stephen was a girl. Big reveal. <laughs> Yeah, big reveal. <laughs> this is obviously sarcasm. I'm, it's a good episode overall, but I'm kind of disappointed. Okay, I said I'm not going to compare this to the other um, episodes, but compared to the other episodes in the bomb and compared to the other mediocre um, episodes, like, this is probably one of the most mediocre episodes in Steven Universe. It wasn't bad. It was not good, definitely. It was just really mediocre and lackluster. There wasn't Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl. No one else appeared in the episode at all besides Greg, Lion, and Steven. And if you want to count Rose, then Rose. And, and, and there wasn't really a big reveal either. It was just, the, oh, if Steven was a girl, he'd be named this. What this episode did do is, like, it finally, like, put Steven at rest when it comes to searching for Rose's answers. Greg finally convinces him that his purpose is just to be their son. And, like, he's he's okay with that. He He's no longer, like, looking for answers and stuff like that. Oh, but the next episode. The next episodes. Let me just say shit's about to get real. Now, I'm gonna record all these, um, reviews all at once, so, um... I'm pretty sure they should all go up today. Anyway, so that's my, that's my, um, basically thoughts about Lion 4 alternate ending. Um, once again, really a disappointing episode. Not, not disappointing, just lackluster compared to the other Lion episodes. But anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave your things, thoughts, whatever, concerns, angry comments about my hair in the, in the comments below. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to World of Millie. We got more content besides Steven Universe. 
we got animation stuff. Speaking of animation, I am working my ass off on that circle and square, like, three-parter thing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, take care.